Hello, London. What's shaking, lady? My flight's three hours delayed, Carrie. I won't be able to make it there in time. In, in time for what? The Last Supper. Miranda and Charlotte told me all about it. And just like that, Samantha you. Jones is back. Oh gosh, I was really excited about the idea. I thought it was a really good idea, and I was thrilled that, you know, we could make it happen and that it worked for her. And um, it's just really nice to see. It's, it's really yeah. nice to see. I was really pleased. Fans didn't have to wait long for the much discussed cameo from Kim Cattrall. In fact, her brief return played out in the first five minutes of the season two finale as Sarah Jessica Parker's Carrie Bradshaw walked into her old apartment and answered a call from her old friend who is living her best life Hello. in London. I was gonna surprise you. Oh my gosh, well you did, I'm very surprised. A surprise to Carrie, but not the to fans as the news of Kim's cameo leaked earlier this year, disappointing the series stars. We were hoping that we could keep under wraps and that she would just pop up as a person was watching the episode and it would be just this delightful, unexpected um, surprise. You were flying all the way to New York for an overnight? Well, it is your apartment and I have to pay my respects. So uh, put me on speaker. Okay. Go ahead. Put me on speaker and hold up that phone. All right, you're on speaker. Thank you for everything. You f***ing fabulous, fabulous flunk. Uh, Samantha, do you have a British accent? Who's Samantha? This is Annabelle Bronstein. I'm from India. And that's a nod to the OG series, when Samantha pretended to be a member of an exclusive club in NYC to gain access to their rooftop pool. I'm fairly certain you are not Annabelle. I've spoken to her on the phone. I am absolutely Annabelle Bronstein, and I do not pay 900 American dollars annually to be treated like this. Kim played the iconic sex-positive publicist over the show's six seasons and the two movies that followed. I think that the character of Samantha has been, was reawakened 25 years ago, and she will live forever. I mean, she's your best friend. She's, your, she's someone who will tell you the truth, because she's been there and done that. But after Sex in the City 2, she swore off reprising her role. I love her so much, but she lives in a time and a place, and I honor that. I think that Kim has made it really clear that she's done, and we've heard her, And uh, but I think that we deal with it really well, I think, and really, really creatively. But 2023 marked 25 years of Sex in the City, and Kim had a change of heart returning for the fans. Of course, Kim came back and she filmed a cameo. What does that say for Samantha and Carrie's relationship? This is a hugely important relationship for Carrie. It's been filled with affection, and we just thought it was a really nice idea to celebrate the 25 years of the show. And if we could make it work, we thought it would be a lovely nod to not just their friendship and where it where it is, um, but also to the audience who who were so devoted to all of us for so long. And while Max announced that the show has been renewed for season three, fans shouldn't hold out hope for more of Samantha. So it felt like dipping my toe, well, you know, back in time and having a wonderful afternoon and then a great martini. Now, with the martini, we're it. all in. Did it make you want to dip your toe even farther in? Like, it's as far as I'm going to go. That's as far as you <laughs> go. Did it make you say goodbye to Samantha or no? I don't think I'll ever say goodbye yeah. to Samantha. Ta and cheerio. And have a great night. Ta. Bye.